Hey guys, I'm Kate. Welcome back to my channel. And where the heck has this year gone? I know we're not halfway yet, but we almost are. And then what? It's just 2019? Just like that? <laughs> but it is the start of June, which means it's time to review my May goals and set my goals for June. And I was slightly more realistic in May after I had kind of my epiphany about how much work I'd be capable of doing while I'm on this road trip. And so I think things are better. Things are better than the last time I checked in about my goals. And I think things will be even better going forward as I set more realistic goals. So let's get into it. As always, I separate my goals by read, write, roam, and random other goals, which I did not use two of those categories last time, but I am gonna do this time. So we're back to normal, normal. <laughs> First up was reading and my goal was to complete two fiction audiobooks and I did not do that. I did complete two non-fiction books though. So I started The Bells, which I've talked about I have already read before, but then <laughs> the book was actually up and it just disappeared before I got to finish it. And thankfully I had reached the end of the book before in like physical form because otherwise that would have been a travesty. But I do kind of think I want to finish it in audiobook form at some point. So I think I'm just gonna have to renew it again. I don't know. I'm gonna be on a long wait list again. <laughs> but what I did listen to is Big Magic by Elizabeth Gilbert. Y'all had recommended this book to me several times and oh my gosh, I loved it. I genuinely loved it. It's all about creativity and like checking in with yourself. And I think it's great even for people who don't write, but it is writing focused. And I liked it so much, I actually went out and bought a physical copy of it so I could go through and highlight the parts where I was like, I'm having so many epiphanies. So <laughs> the only thing I think I will say is that there was parts of it where she talks about creativity being like this totally mystical and magical thing, hence kind of big magic. And while I don't totally agree with it, it was really interesting hearing her stories and her perspectives. And I do think there is something magical about creativity and writing. I just don't know that I'd go as far as she goes. But still, it's really fun. It's kind of a cool topic to listen to. So. That was awesome. Thank you guys so much for the recommendation and I'm going to highly recommend it to everyone else too. The other audiobook I listened to was Scrappy Little Nobody by Anna Kendrick, the actress. I know my friend Jessica at JLW Reads was recommending this and she had just finished it and she thought it was so great and I am going to second that. It was fantastic. This is another book that's read by the author and that just always makes it so much more fun. I think from a writing standpoint in particular, it's always really cool to hear what people in different creative fields are thinking and feeling and how the process is going Going for them. Like one of the things that I thought was most interesting about her book was this time period in her life where she had just been nominated for an Oscar, but she was also like just a couple weeks out from being kind of sort of homeless. Like she was broke and everyone kept telling her like, oh, the money's gonna come now. You're nominated for an Oscar. The money's gonna come. It's fine. It's fine. And she says that the money didn't come for another two years. And then we all know now how many movies she's been in and all sorts of stuff. So it's just kind of interesting to see that ebb and flow of creative success in a totally different field from writing. Also, she's just hysterical and adorable. And yes, y'all should read it or listen to it, whatever. <laughs> Next up is writing and my goal was to finish rereading Project Blue, which I did. I did finish it. I've talked about that. I will link the video up above and down below when I talked about that. And I'm actually about to get beta feedback really, really soon. So that is very exciting. And I am still in the process of rereading the novel again. I wanted to reread it twice. I'm making a full list of questions kind of by chapter that I want to ask my beta readers. So I got to get back to that, but I'm actually really enjoying it even the second time I'm rereading it. So all good things, y'all, all good things. My next writing goal was to continue working on my Princess Bride meets Scooby-Doo story and um, eh. <laughs> I decided to shelve that and leave that for Camp NaNoWriMo coming up in July and just focus my limited time on other stories like Project Blue and like the new adult romance series that I want to self-publish. This isn't a sad thing. I mean, it's kind of sad because I'd like to be able to work on all these projects at once because I enjoy all the projects, but we've had this discussion a lot now, so you all know how I'm feeling about it and I'm at a good place. So it's shelf for now. I'm going to revisit it again in less than a month at this point. So that's awesome. Like I was mentioning the new adult romance series, the goal was to finish the zero draft or the first draft or the quick draft in May. And I did not do that, but I think I'm a little bit more than halfway. So the goal, which I'll talk about in June is to, is still to do that. I would like to finish. Finishing would be good. <laughs> General writing feelings. <laughs> 
finishing is always a good thing, right? So while my progress hasn't been as fast, it has been continual progress. And that's kind of the new way I'm measuring success is just, am I continually working forward to my goals? And yep, yeah, I am. <laughs> The next writing goal was to post an article or a personal essay, and guess what, y'all? I finally did it on May 31st, but it counts. I was so frustrated with myself for not sticking to this, and it's that weird kind of mental thing which actually Big Magic helped me with, and I haven't even given a second thought after I posted it. So it was clearly, so much of it was just like a mental block, and now I'm working on the next article, so it's great, and I'm happy that I'm doing this. Even if nobody reads it, it's fine. And the other cool thing about Scrivener and also about Medium is that they tell you a approximately how long the read is, which is six-ish minutes. So <sighs> Scribner, just I'm constantly amazed by it now. <laughs> Normally we'd be moving on to the roaming goals, but I didn't actually set any because of course I'm already on the trip. But I will leave down below the information about how many cities I visited, how many national parks, what awesome amazing things I got to do. But I think my personal favorite part was meeting two other author tubers. That was just the coolest experience and I'm so glad I got to do that. So just more good things, all good things. Such an improvement over how I felt about April. And I didn't set any random goals this month because I'm silly. So let's go into June. For reading, I would like to read two books. I'm not gonna say if they need to be fiction. I'm just gonna kinda let whatever I wanna read happen. Hmm. <laughs> But I will tell you what I have currently on my audiobook playlist. I have Is Everyone Hanging Out Without Me by Mindy Kaling, which I'm super enjoying. I have listened to her book Why Not Me before, which was actually the second book. Now I'm just listening to the first one. I also have Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell, which is the only fiction audiobook that I currently have in my like library docket or whatever it's called, bookshelf. I think that's it. <laughs> and the other nonfiction audiobook I have is Spark Joy by the author that I'm currently forgetting. So I'll just put it right over my face. <laughs> I likely won't finish all of these audiobooks because I actually have a traveling buddy with me. If y'all watched my last video, you would have already seen her. My mom has joined me on this trip and then not too much later, my dad's gonna join us for about two weeks. He's taking vacation from work. So most of my reading time or audiobook listening time has been when I'm on the road. And so I probably won't get to do that as often, but who knows? Maybe I can make them drive and I'll read. <laughs> I have four writing goals for this month. And the first one is to prep for Camp NaNoWriMo, just like, a little bit because of course, like I said, I think I already mentioned that I'm going to be continuing working on my Scooby-Doo meets Princess Bride story. So I already have a lot of that prep work done. I do have a couple new things I'm gonna try out for Camp Nano prep this time. And that'll be fun. I'll make videos about that, but they'll, they'll just be kind of fun, like little side projects. There's not gonna be anything big because I already have most of the work done for the story, which is also something that I haven't had for Camp NaNoWriMo in a long time. I usually start new stories, but this time I'm going to be continuing one. So that'll be, this will all be an interesting experience. The next goal is to post another article or personal essay, only one of them, but I'm kind of hoping for two because I already have like, five ideas to choose from in various stages of doneness. So I can totally get at least one done. And again, fingers crossed for two. The third writing goal is to begin month one of two for the actual redraft period of Pirate YA fantasy novel, Project Blue. Again, I'm going to be getting beta reader feedback this weekend more or less. And so uh, right after that, I'm going to just start the redraft period and I'm very excited. So, whew. Whew. The goal, of course, is to have this done, like I said, in two months. I think that's reasonable. I think it's possible because as of right now, unless my beta readers shock me, which they totally could do, I don't think there's any huge, huge, huge structural changes needed, which was the bulk of the time that I spent doing last draft was just massive structural changes. So, and timeline errors, oh my God. I'm so glad to be over that hump. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, like I said, the last goal for writing is to finish the first draft of the new adult romance series, the first book in the new adult romance series. <laughs> I should clarify. And worst case, again, like I mentioned, continual progress. If I don't finish it, at least get closer to the end. For roaming, while I'm not gonna set another goal, I am gonna kind of like tell you what I'm most excited about and that is Canada. I've never been to Canada and I'm so freaking excited. And of course, like I mentioned, my mom and dad will be joining me. When was the last time y'all went to Canada? Never really been to Canada. It was just the Niagara I Falls. I towed my toe across it. Oh, okay. Niagara Falls, that doesn't count. So none of us have really been to Canada. <laughs> So that's what I'm most excited about, just seeing a new country and oh my gosh, I'm so excited. And I met several people in my hostel that I stayed at recently in Sacramento and they all were freaking praising Vancouver, Vancouver, Vancouver. So I am so pumped. I didn't think I could get more excited 
but now I am. <laughs> and my final goal this time is going to be under the random other goals category, even though I think I might be able to lump it in with roaming. It's whatever. And that's it in the month of June. I'd like to start posting my videos from this trip. So I don't know how many I'm gonna have to post because I've been on this trip now for about seven weeks, I think. And so to get caught up, I'm gonna have to post like a video every three or four days to finally catch up. And I wouldn't even catch up until like week 20 at that point, I don't know. Anyways, but so the goal is just to get like week one up. That would be fantastic. I would be happy with that kind of progress. So I just need to go through some footage and it's kind of been fun, the little bit that I've done of it, just to like go back and revisit what I had already seen. And it's just so cool. So. Yes, that is my final goal for the month of June. As always, please comment down below and let me know what your goals for June are. Do you have anything exciting coming up this month? Are you traveling anywhere fun this month? And let me know how you did on your May goals, if you set any. And finally, are you guys planning on participating in Camp NaNoWriMo in July? And does it seem like it's come around so quickly this time? Like I know I, I think I feel this way every time for July's camp, but it's like you prepped all of March, prep arch. <laughs> Then you had camp in April, then you have like recovery period in May, and now you have June for Brooke. Prepoon. <laughs> I'm not gonna be able to do that. And then you have prepping in June, and then camp in July, and it's just like, what? <laughs> maybe it's just me, maybe not. Please comment down below and let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you all very soon with a new video. Bye. Mm, blink, blink, blink. The thing that I thought, it had, so while my pro, post an article or essay, post a person, post, I also have fang, oh, fangirl. <laughs>